Hi guys, welcome back, and today we're going to be talking about teaming. Uh, so Supercell team has said that we can team now. Uh, so I just want to show you guys how to team, how that all works. And so let's just jump straight into our game. And hopefully it's uh, an easy game. We don't want two people too, too hard and stuff like that. Uh, so let's jump right into it. Now we're also hoping that we don't get really too many strong players because strong players with strong players it works but then it kind of always ends out bad for one of the players so you don't want to be on the receiving end so we've bumped into a Shelly now and there is an El Primo up here so he comes down to attack us but we're gonna spin around and he's spinning around so that means we want to be uh, allies and so now we're going to work together, hopefully take out this Shelly. But I don't trust El Primo. Uh, that's just something I feel like. I just don't trust El Primos. Uh, but that's just something you have to believe in. Um, but yeah, so I ran away from the El Primo because I did not want to be anywhere near him. But yeah, teaming can be pretty good. But let's jump into our second game because uh, there wasn't a lot of action after that. And... We just start off by picking up some of these because if you have the magic, people are more likely to team with you because uh, stronger people with weaker people normally is how it works. Um, not always a weaker people going to want to team with you because they won't trust you. But yeah, teaming is obviously a big part trust. Uh, but yeah, so the way it works pretty much if, I, if you haven't understood it yet, is you find a player, you spin around. If the other person spins around, then you team. Um, now you can obviously use this in trick tactics, so I did have like, uh, Anita in a corner where the gas was about to kill her, and she spun around trying to get a team out of me so that I would let her out of the corner so she wouldn't die, and, uh, after that, I, I backstabbed her pretty much, um, like any El Primo, because I was playing El Primo, and I just killed her, so that's a lesson, but as you can see, the whole, pretty much most of the players here have teamed up to together so it kind of sucks if you're not in the team uh the thing i do have with teaming is if you get low on health don't trust your teammates to keep you alive if you get under like 200 you're dead um i would get away from your teammates if you can uh because in the end it's all for one one for all not one for the team yeah so as you can see this was a pretty good game there was a lot of teaming going on in this game um, and it was a pretty good game to show you how teaming works because everyone wanted to team together uh, But it did suck my video recorder did screw up in the middle of this game which sucks uh, but you know Stuff happens in life and you gotta you gotta live with it But uh, hopefully you've understood how teaming works in Brawl Stars and you can put it in practice in a later game uh, that you play uh, and Hopefully this video helps you out and if you enjoyed this video leave a like and if you enjoy this content subscribe and I'll see you guys in another one. Bye.